and welcome. My name is Nicole, and today we have a nice strong practice um, for strength and mobility. So we're gonna be doing a lot of standing poses and working on our balance, strength, and mobility. So if you have a couple blocks, that may be handy. I'll try to offer modifications where I can so that you can make the practice your own. Um, otherwise, let's get started seated. So in a comfortable seat, and that may mean that you sit up on a block or a pillow um, so that your knees don't hurt. So however you feel, sit comfortably, sit tall, maybe close the eyes down for a moment and start to breathe deeply in through the nose. And out through the nose. I'm going to start our ujjayi breath. And that's just uh, having a slight constriction at the back of the throat. And so it sounds like the ocean when you breathe in and out. I like Darth Vader. <laughs> and then you bring your hands to your heart center and set an intention. Maybe just a word that pops into your mind, anything you're working on. And then Drop the hands down to the knees now and inhale the arms up, overhead, all the way to the top. And then we're gonna exhale, fold over, reaching the fingertips out in front of us, dropping the forehead, using the, the fingers to press the hips back down towards the earth. Breathing. And inhale back to center. And we are going to do some spinal circles. So just pick a direction. Circle. However it feels nice in your body. So maybe they're small or very large, <laughs> however, maybe both. And then switch. And back to center and reach off one direction up and over. Look up or down, depending on how you feel. And breathe. Inhale up and off and now go the other way. And inhale to center. And now we're going to come around and meet on all fours for a little, a new little drill that I have <laughs> come across that I kind of, I kind of like. So we're going to do it three times. Bring your wrists under your shoulders and there's an options along the way. Let's raise our left arm to the sky. And we've done this twist before, if you've been with me before. And thread it through. 
exhale, and then we're gonna inhale, come up, and now our, this right leg is gonna reach, and you can stop at any of these points. So maybe you just reach the leg behind, the arm out in front, and then reach to touch, <laughs> and then come back, and then we switch sides. So now the left arm comes up, inhales, and threads through, and the exhale, and then the inhale, we come back up, extend that leg, and then it comes around, and try to touch. <laughs> inhale the left, thread through, exhale, inhale, and exhale, Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, thread through, twist. Inhale, exhale. Last round. Inhale, left arm, threads through. Exhale, inhale, comes up. Reach the leg around. Exhale, touch. Inhale, exhale, thread through. Inhale, back to square. And exhale, touch, and back to all fours. I don't know, tell, you, tell me how you like that or didn't like it or I, it's taken me several rounds to kinda uh, to get a feel for it, so, but. It felt great on my back, so hopefully you got the same sensation. Inhale, lift those knees. Exhale, press your hips back towards your heels and shoot those hips up into the sky, downward dog. Breathing in and out. Pressing the hands down firmly and away from one another. Inhale, raise your left leg high to the sky. And now exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, high. Exhale, knee to outside of left elbow. Inhale, high. Cross over to right elbow. Inhale, high, lift high on the ball, the back foot, step all the way through. Turn the back foot at an angle, inhale into warrior one. My front thigh is rolling out, I can see my big toes, lifting high, Now, go ahead and <laughs> glass the, scared me, <laughs> glass the hands behind your, your back. Inhale, roll your shoulders up and onto your back. And then we're gonna start to come forward, staying steady through the legs, and then exhale, fold. You can always have your hands out in front. If folding over is too much. Breathe in. And now, and then now, come back. Squeeze, lift, warrior one. And then exhale, shift. The toes, so we're facing the long edge of our mat. Go ahead and a little bend in your knees, a little tilt in your pelvis, and exhale, fold over. You can have your hands on blocks if you need here. Moving your hands in line with your feet, out in front, the ankles. Experiment with different things, see what you like. 
start with a long spine, lifting the chin and then folding. And then inhale, halfway look up. Your hands to your hips. We'll make sure there's a bend in your knees and then come all the way up. Pivot now the toes. So we're coming into warrior one with the right leg in front now, facing the back edge of our mat. Inhale, lift up. You want your front thigh rolling out. You wanna see your big toe. Turning your torso over your front leg. And then go ahead and clasp behind your back. Inhale, lift the heart up. And then start to shift forward. And remember, you can always just have your hands out in front uh, to help stabilize. Otherwise, let the arms come up and over. Try and keep the legs very active. Breathing. And then inhale back into warrior one. And then exhale, come down over the front foot, lift the back heel to plank, to chaturanga, upward dog. Exhale, pressing back in the downward dog. Taking a breath here, lifting high through the hips, pressing down and away through the hands, breathing into the back of the heart. Inhale, raise your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, knee to outside of right elbow. Raise the leg high. And then exhale, knee to left elbow. Raise the leg high, lift on the ball of the back foot, exhale, step through, lower the, open the back foot at an angle, and inhale, warrior two. So, squeezing the legs together, my torso is now towards the long edge of my mat, arms reaching away, looking out over that middle finger, thigh still rolling out, external rotation. Now here, if you wanna bring the back arm and bind the front thigh, or just leave it out and reach down the back thigh. I'm gonna open the palm to the sky, up and over, reverse warrior. And then come through. We're gonna reach, 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 reach. And then drop the hand on a block, your shin, the floor. You can keep the bind, or you can bring your hand to your heart, roll your heart open, raise your hand to the sky. Triangle. And then bend that front knee. Inhale, warrior two. And then turn the toes to face the long edge of the mat. Come, bring your hands to your hips once more. Roll, stick your, stick your booty back. And then exhale, fold once more. Bring your hand to the middle under your face. 
and then bring your right hand to your low back and keep your low back where it is and just roll your heart open and then raise your hand. Breathe. And switch, right hand under your face, left hand to your low back. Inhale, roll your heart open, keeping your low back where it is. And then raise it. Breathe. And release. And we're going to shift over our front foot, pivot so we have our back foot at an angle, and then cartwheel the arms up. Warrior two, left leg in front, thigh rolling out. Squeezing the legs together to activate. Exhale, pressing away. Even if you want to reach the hand around, your right hand around to bind your front leg, you can. Or you can just reach down the back leg for humble warrior, or reverse warrior, sorry. Come back into warrior two. And then come forward, forward, forward. Straighten the front leg. Triangle. You can have your hand on the shin, on the floor. You can raise that right hand up to the sky. And then bend that front knee. Inhale, back. Oh, I'm sliding into warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the arms over your front foot. Step into plank. Take a breath here. Pull the navel in and up. Press down firmly through the hands. Press away. And then exhale, keeping the elbows in, lowering through Chaturanga. And then inhale, upward dog. And exhale. Downward dog. And now right leg to the sky. And then exhale, draw it through to behind your right wrist. You can always come into this from all fours. And we're coming into pigeon. So, so what we want here is we want, still want, even though we're on the floor now, we still want to have active legs drawing. You can have blocks here to help stabilize as well, but really trying to engage, be able to lift off, have the pelvis be squared towards the front of your mat. You want to be rolling out one way or the other. And then inhale, lift your heart. And then exhale, fold forward. If you don't feel anything in this pigeon, you can slowly start to bring your front leg out to more of a 90. Make sure you keep this front foot super active though. And still be drawing in Keep breathing. Send the breath into where you feel sensation. If you want to add a thigh stretch on here, you can kick that back foot in, reach around.
So this is opposing arm and, and leg here. And if you reach for the back foot, let it go gently. Inhale, lift the heart up, chest, and then lift up, press back in the downward dog. Maybe lift that leg high and then release. Now raise the left leg high and exhale, bring it through left knee behind left wrist, toes point in, and settle into your pigeon. So you might need to pull back more, get more space, even though we're on the floor, keep everything really like squeezing in, active. And when you're ready, come forward if you wanna draw that front foot out more. Then go ahead. Just keep this foot very active, flexed. Breathe. And if you want to reach for the back foot now, kick it in and reach with your left hand and grab. the foot if you grab for it. Hands under shoulders. Inhale. Lift up. And then go ahead and draw your right leg around. And we're gonna prepare to roll onto our backs now. Just take a moment. Take a breath in here. And bring your right knee in, extend the left leg along the floor. We roll a little bit, that feels nice. And then hook the foot and draw the right knee across the body into a little twist. Maybe reach out with the right hand. Maybe look to the right. And then back to center. Now, spread that right leg on the floor. Bring your left knee in, hug it in. Maybe draw it from one armpit to the other. A little roll. And then hook the foot on the right leg and just draw that right knee over the body. Reach the left arm out. Look to the left. And then 
come back to center. And draw the knees in. Go ahead and grab for the outside edges of your feet. Happy baby. Roll around here as well if that feels nice to you. Maybe you can close the eyes down. And when you're ready, hug yourself into a ball. Hug your muscles tight. Hold your breath. And then when you can't hold it anymore, release into Shavasana, final resting pose. Traditionally, the feet roll out, palms turn up. And the eyes close down but you can do whatever you need to do to make yourself comfortable, whether that's knees knocked in, a pillow, a blanket, whatever. Please stay where you're at in your comfortable position. This is the time when we integrate and receive all the benefits. And we'll sit and hold space. Just breathe in any sensations that come up and enjoy this time. If you'd like to come out, please wiggle your fingers and toes and kind of just start to come back to your body. 
Otherwise, stay in Trivasana as long as you'd like. I think 15 minutes is recommended. Roll to your right side. And then go ahead and use your hands and push yourself back to a seated position. Thank you for practicing with me. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.